So recently, Batman is almost all of which DC has been about. So it's not surprising that the Caped Crusader has a few covers on my list this week. Stay tuned for the video. Anachronic. Hey comic book guys and gals, I'm Joe and welcome to Anachronic Comics. Now, this week's top cover from the 1960s is Tales of Suspense number 19 with a cover date of April 1961. The cover has pencils by Jack King Kirby and inks by Dick Ayers. Now, the plot of the story, The Green Thing, was by Stan the Man and his brother Larry Lieber wrote the story. Now, the cover is representative of the classic sci-fi slash horror stories and covers of the late 1950s and early 1960s. Now, Marvel fandom provides the, the story synopsis as follows. A botanist who had developed a serum which could bestow intelligence upon plant life came to an island off the coast of Australia. Unable to find the plant he wanted, he decided to test his serum upon a weed that he found. Pretty dumb. Because the weed became a massive human-shaped creature and learned to speak after a short period of development. And it decided it would conquer the world. <laughs> and it was going to use the botanist formula on other plant life to build his army. Now, the botanist refused and ran away and prevented the green thing from leaving the island. But just as the green thing was about to close in on him, the botanist found the plant that he was looking for, called Ignatius Rex, and he injected it with his formula. The second plant became just as intelligent as the first one and attacked the green thing and destroyed it. Now, realizing that the green thing was an evil plant, Ignatius Rex decided to remain on the island, afraid that he might become evil, and he lets the botanist depart. Now, a bit of trivia. The Green Thing later turns up alive in the series Monsters Unleashed, Volume 2. Besides the cover story, there are three additional stories in this uh, comic book. There's a reprint of a two-page story called Lady Luck, and two new stories, The Haunted Paper, which was drawn by Steve Ditko, and The Coming of Mabu, that was drawn by Don Heck. Now, Comics Price Guide has a 9.8 RAW set at $2,250 and a 6.0, fine, at $120. Now, GoCollect doesn't have enough data to provide an FMV for 9.8, but it did set a 6.0 one-year average at $399. One premium cover this week, the Invincible Red Sonja No. 8, Cover M, a Selena Limited Virgin, for $50. Now, Selena continues to produce what clearly is a series of similar looking Red Sonja covers, with the character in different poses each month. These covers are striking, and again, I'd like to know who the model is. Now, I have two series this week. The first is Strange Number no. 1, which continues the story of the death of Doctor Strange. <laughs>
Next is from Image, Rogue Sun number one. Here are the honorable mentions. The first cover on my honorable mention list is Batman number 121, the cover E incentive 1 in 50 jock cardstock variant for $5.99. Now, how can I describe this? Batman is casting a shadow that in effect is the bat signal, but also the rainbow of colors that form the background, really nice. This is another cover by Jock that, in my view, really should be a poster. Next up is Batman, Killing Time number 1, the Ivan Tao Variant B for $4.99, a Frankie's Comics exclusive. Now, if you couldn't tell from the trade dress to the right of Catwoman, this Fight Club variant has a lot going for it. But what drew me to it are the tattoos on Batman's left arm. I can't make it all out so I need to buy this cover. Next is Spider-Woman number 20, the cover A by Jung Jun Yoon for $3.99. Just a great spider pose on webbing with some of the protagonists, a spider and a rose set out behind her. And what are those swords doing there? Next is the Thing number 5, the Pinozian variant for $3.99. Just another great thing power shot. When I first saw this, I thought he was holding Stormbreaker. But looking more closely, it looks like a plain old axe. The last honorable mention for this week is What If Miles Morales number 1. This is the Alan Qua variant B for $5.99. What if Miles became Captain America? Another great action shot. But I'm more intrigued by the passerbys. Look closely. Is the guy with the backpack holding a gun by the barrel? Now, on to my top five covers for New Comic Book Day, March 2nd, 2022. Number five is X Lives of Wolverine, or is it 10? I never knew. Number four, the 1 in 50 used variant for $4.99. Here's Wolverine, suave, debonair, a la James Bond. I love the look. Number four is Magic the Gathering number 12. Cover B, Hidden Spark by Jun Yoon Yoon, the second cover this week. Now, Yoon outdid himself on this one. The focal point character is awesome. And the use of the blue, purple, and white hues is also awesome. But look at the sky. The clouds are more than what they seem. 
Number three is Star Wars number 21, the Mike Mayhew variant B for $3.99. Mayhew uses red as his main color, which with the black suits Dark Vader just fine and makes the glow from the lightsaber even more pronounced. Number two is from Blood Moon Comics, Usher of the Dead number one, the Tiago de Silver limited edition, only 500 copies. It's a virgin cover and at least the cover price is $3.99. Now, you are face to face with Death Incarnate. His wings are in tatters, as are his clothes. The synopsis provides that the reader can decide whether he is evil or not. I think I made up my mind the minute I saw the cover. My number one top cover for New Comic Book Day, March 2nd, 2022, is Detective Comics 1055, the cover B by Lee Bermejo. It's a cardstock variant for $5.99. Bermejo gives us another gritty look at the Batman family. I love the way he draws Batman and the others with clothes rather than spandex. Here, Batman and Batgirl are surrounded with seemingly no way out. A classic Bermejo cover and my number one cover this week. Now, remember to leave a comment on whether you would buy one of these covers I picked or any other based solely on the cover art. All right, all together now, so many covers, so little cash. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be well, and I'll see you soon.